Hey all, we are delighted to introduce you to STMAX Pro, a new software for estimation of buildings. It works with CAD application such as AutoCAD. Now on the screen, what we see is the architectural as well as the structural drawings. On the right side, you can see a geometry table along with the name and dimensions. Now we have both the structural as well as the architectural drawing in the 2D form. And the advantage of this software is that it's able to scan 2D drawings. Now let's start with STMAX Pro. Let's take up a new project. The drawing units can be set. Now for now, let's take it as centimeter. The project name can be given according to your choice. Let's take it as a demo. The client details can be given only required. You can save. It gets directed to the template page. And this is where you have the PWD as well as CPWD rates. Otherwise, you can have your own template with the local rates. Now let's take CPWD centimeter. Now what we see is the home page. Here, each item is listed and the quantities is given accordingly as well as its rates. The rates are being derived from the rate analysis sheet which will be explained to you later. Now moving on to the masters. It's initially the project. It's the same project details that you have given before. Next is the story details. You can add up the stories according to the project. Now to add up a story, new story, and the story name can be provided, for example, ground. The story height as well as the brick height must be given in the dimensions, same as that of the drawing unit. Next is the joinery details. Joinery details can be selected directly from the AutoCAD file. But as of the default, you have a default table. So you can delete the default table by clicking on the cornermost point and pressing delete. And then clicking on scan schedule, a command gets directed to the AutoCAD file. And then on selecting the joinery table, clicking enter. These values will get automatically updated in STMAX Pro. The joinery types must be changed according to the joinery name. On saving this, we move on to the next. That is the rate types. Rate types is basically the different items that are being used in STMAX and it's categorized into various groups. For example, material, labor, machinery, etc. Next is the rate. Different items that are being used in STMAX is provided here. For example, cement. The rate of cement is given as 7.4 according to the template we have selected. It can be edited if required. Next is the rate analysis type. It's a window for grouping items in rate analysis. Next we have the conveyance. This include all kinds of transportation charges. Next is the rate analysis. It gives the detailed calculation of a rate of a particular type of work. For example, M35 mixed concrete, oh, sorry, columns. There's a brief, brief description about it. In the bottom part of the window, you find resources that are required for the construction of a M35 column. The quantities are provided for unit weight. And next is the steel requirement. It gives a rough estimate of the reinforcement required. And this is based on thumb rule. For example, beams, we take kilogram per unit weight as 130. Next is story item details. In this option, it's basically to add or edit 
or remove items if not required by just clicking on that box. Example, site clearing. If it's not required, you can untick the option and then close the window. So as to change, see the change, you need to move to the file option and click refresh all. Site clearing item has been deleted from the analysis sheet. Moving on to the entries, we have the slab details. In slab details, we need to change the polyline option to true. And then by clicking the bottommost option as pick slab, a command gets directed to the AutoCAD file. And the architectural drawing must be selected by its polyline. By clicking enter, the slab details have been updated in the STMAX profile. We need to save the quantities and then close. And on scanning the architectural drawing. Initially, you need to click on properties and type in the brick layers as well as the column layers according to the layers given to them in the AutoCAD file. And you must note that these layers are, the layer names are case sensitive. And then on clicking scan layout, and then you need to select the architectural drawing and click enter. You can see that the center lines are being drawn. STMAX Pro works on center line method. Once the scanning is complete, a dialog box appears and you can go back to the STMAX page. You can find the quantities of both the brick walls as well as the joinery details. Save the quantities and then click close. The same process continues for structural drawing. Initially, the properties has to be selected. And type in the beam layer as well as the column layer according to the AutoCAD drawing, the scan layout, the same process continues as here also straight center lines are being drawn. Once the scanning is complete, you can go back to the STMAX page. You can find the quantities of both beam as well as column. Saving the quantities. And close. In masters, you have the definitions option. This is the most powerful tool in STMAX Pro as the internal equations are maintained in this window. And the the biggest advantage is that the client can or the user can define or create the equations depending upon their requirements. Now so as to see the quantities in the estimate page, you need to move to the file option and click on refresh. The quantities have been updated. And now let's move on to the reports. The reports give the abstract detailed description about the items along with the quantity with its rate. So as to get the abstract report, you need to click on the view report option.
abstract of the particular project has been created in the Excel format. And at the bottom most you find the total estimate of the project. This is all about SDMAX Pro. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.